I lost because the other guy cheated. I've come up with a problem. Uh, the argumentation that is used in the PewDiePie pipeline and basically any of the bread tube, leftist YouTube, whatever you call it, arguments, um, arguing that there's something that they call an alt-right pipeline. A major flaw in not, it's not really in their arguments so much as the whole thing, um, all-encompassing. Here's where I think they're really screwing up. And I don't know that they can fix this, but uh, here goes. The problem with the concept of an alt-right pipeline where people get introduced to mild, you know, content that's like libertarian or whatever, and then they fall down this cascading pyramid of more and more extreme right-wing views. Well, here, here's, here's the problem. By doing this, by making all these videos about this alt-right pipeline, or which, which really, funny enough, a lot of them end up just being a right-wing pipeline, not, not some kind of like neo-Nazi pipeline like they're implying with alt-right, because, you know, everyone who disagrees with me is alt-right, is their philosophy. Um, and you, you can get into definitions and all that, and I don't want I don't want to do that here. The problem with the alt-right pipeline is that they are admitting that right-wingers have more convincing arguments than left-wingers. So, in admitting this, they're saying basically that their ideas are weaker, but, but, Here's how they bring it back. This is why they think that they win when they make videos about an alt-right pipeline, but they actually burn themselves. What they think they're saying is, oh, well, those guys seem convincing, but it's all an illusion by a con man. It's, it's all this manufactured stuff. It's not honest. But what they're really saying is, our ideas are not as convincing as their ideas. So to make our ideas more convincing, we're making this video to tell you that even though their ideas are convincing, well, it's, it, it has to be because they're doing something dishonest because they disagree with us. And they let that mask slip just enough that anybody who has a brain and is using it can tell that that's what's going on. And the problem really is just that most people don't use their brains when they watch YouTube videos. So the only reason that their arguments about this alt-right pipeline thing are convincing is that people don't pay attention. I mean, that, that's basically it. People just don't, they shut their minds off and most of the people watching them already agree with them. So, of course, they're going to get on board with that. But you're not going to convert people that weren't already sort of giving in to the left-wing thought bullying with a video like that. You're really just admitting how weak your position is and trying to say that it's because the other people did something dishonest. You're the guys who are losing in a sport and saying... I didn't lose because I'm worse, or I didn't lose because what I did wasn't as good. I lost because the other guy cheated. But you can't really cheat. I mean, you can, you can play on cognitive biases and such, but in the end, you can't cheat. Anybody who has researched is going to see through both sides and see what they're really saying. And, and when you take away a lot of what the uh, bread tube community is saying with this all right pipeline thing, when, when you boil it down, you, you take away all the weird fallacies, all the, um, all the positive priming they do to try and get people on board, you know, say for things that people can't disagree with and then say a fifth so that they are more likely to agree with the fifth. 
when you strip back those tactics and just look at the actual logical rational points that are being made if there are any at all and the premises that underlie them their arguments really are very weak it really does boil down to I'm judging you socially for being right-wing or on a right-wing friendly track and if you don't come back to my thought side if you don't start thinking the way I want you to I'm going to judge you more harshly but if you do come back to me I'll be nice to you and I won't bully you that's what's really going on is it's bullying it, it's bullying in the end because their ideas they admit are weaker and they have no way to bring people over other than through emotional appeals and other illogical manners but the problem like I said winding it back is that they're admitting that their position is weaker and that the only reason they think that they can get you know that the only reason that anyone goes to the other side is because the other side is lying Sorry, bro, that doesn't work. You're admitting your position is weaker, but then people smell the bullshit. You're undermining your own cause. Try harder. <laughs> Sincerely, a left-leaning, centrist, hardcore libertarian. Goodbye.